going on guys? Welcome to today's vlog. It is Tuesday the 14th of May. Pretty sure it's 14th. Apologies, can't keep up with the days because I'm absolutely hammered. Pretty sure you've heard that time and time again that I'm hammered. Uh, just be speaking to the guy that owns the building. It's actually been sold to another guy but they're still keeping their um, hands in it 50% I think the original owners but we're speaking to me about going in here I'm gonna sit down with Sarah tonight we're gonna talk it up through and hopefully in the next four weeks I'm gonna move into that office because in here is way too poky I'm also starting doing a, a repair service as well now you service your printers we can repair your printers and yeah obviously in here it's so poky and it's starting I think this is why I get stressed out I literally can't move in here so it's either I go in there or I move and go into other another building maybe Sarah's building but a better conditioned one because these these spools of filament are so temperamental you leave these and there's a temperature change that will snap all the way through and you'll end up with bits of filament hanging out your printer like this which isn't good at all so that's hopefully going to be going through in the next couple of weeks I'm gonna email him tonight discuss it again like I said with Sarah as I always do and as every good wife and husband should you need to discuss it because at the end of the day a marriage is a partnership and you're supposed to be in this together the light above here is doing my head in I keep forgetting the starter motor I've got to go home I've got to order some blue PLA for the scorpion mask not the scorpion mask I've sold the scorpion mask but the guy that ordered it has now ordered two sub-zero masks and they're in blue so I'm gonna have to order the blue I've got some over here but it's not enough I'd rather get a roll anyway and run about eight or ten of them off just get the printer just doing them constantly this printer down here is printing the alien egg I'm just gonna leave it it's a bit temperamental at the minute because it's printing it it's printing it fine but it's translucent so you don't know until it's about this high and it's gonna take about a day to get to that height so one of them things hopefully it's gonna it's gonna um, print it when it prints it it will be literally about three foot high it'll be like a proper alien egg and then I've got to uh, print the tendrils that come off it at the bottom so it's about a week it's gonna take about a week to do it and I've got two of them on order and this printer down here that I put the borosilicate glass on looks like the bed's warped so here we go again with uh, technology outlet because this is a 599 pound machine it's a lot of money to invest in a printer that sat on its ass doing literally fuck all nothing it's just sat there annoying me so I'm gonna go home I'm gonna order the filament order some bubble wrap order a few other things get in the, the hot tub Liam's over there as well it's red outside it's roasted it's even warmer is it as you can see by my cheeks look like noddy and we are officially getting today started later that same evening hello everybody um, I'm gonna make this a quick one because I'm really tired as you can tell and um, Porsche's asleep in bed I'm only it's like around 11 something like that but I'm absolutely tired because um got my GCSEs now um, I've already fit I've done my dance I've done my photography I've done my science biology paper um, which was pretty hard saying that I, I revised really hard for it and then everything that came up I didn't really know how to explain it but then um, there was stuff that actually came up like there was like a weird drug that I'd never heard of before and that also came up so I was just like alright if I'd learnt this I might, might have it down right now but no but um I've got my health and social care two hour exam at nine o'clock in the morning till eleven o'clock and then I've got maths lesson that's just my normal lesson and then um I'll go and do boost session for English and then I've got an English exam which is my Macbeth and Christmas Carol. Yeah, a Christmas Carol, which I've got all my quotes down for Macbeth. I just need to do the same for Christmas Carol, but luckily my um, my English exam is in the afternoon, so I've got lo loads of time to revise. Um, I literally just need to revise quotes because I, I know how to set out a question and know how to do everything like that. 
Um, so I'm just gonna do that in the morning and yeah. Well, I'm gonna go to bed because I'm not good. And um, I'm probably gonna revise for chemistry tomorrow because my I've got um chemistry paper. Oh, I've got chemistry paper one at on Thursday in the morning, and then I've got free lesson. I've not got on Thursday I've not got fit, fourth and fifth period because they only have five periods I've not got my last two periods so I'll just um, probably use that as revision and then um, Friday is just I've got no exams on Friday and then the week and then next week I've got four exams and then I finish for a week and then I come back and then I'm on study leave which I've got five exams the first week and then I've got four, my last four exams the next week and then I'm done, and then I've got two weeks to plan. <sighs> but yeah, in the week, you're still not allowed to see my prom dress as. You see me prom dress shopping, but mum never put my prom dress on it because I didn't want anybody to know what it actually looked like until I've got it on. Some people have actually seen it because I've shown it them, but some people just think it's not the dress. But um, I'm not telling you what colour it is unless mum's told you. Um, but and I'm not even going to show you it when I get it. You're probably just going to see the colour of the dress because you're not seeing it on me until prom. And I'm going to make sure of that because I want it to be a surprise where like nobody knows, so then nobody can like. Obviously, people say Look, I'm not showing anybody because people get the dress. But then if somebody gets the dress, like yeah, so I've just. Everybody's in the school has told everybody what the dress looks like. None of them look the same as each other. None of them seem the same as each other, um, especially mine. Um, I think there's like three people wearing red, as far as I'm concerned at the moment. Um, but nobody knows what I'm wearing. And you don't know if one of them three people are me, which I'm not going to tell you because... I might, I might be wearing blue, I might be wearing green, I might be wearing purple, I might be wearing yellow, I might be wearing red, I might be wearing black, white, black, white and grey are my favourite colours, so you'd probably be expecting them most, one of them most, but you'll have to see on the day. Um, but yeah, I really need to get some sleep because I've got to get up at not I'm getting up at normal time which is 5 40 because my school is an hour away as you know I look, I'm not you probably you know where I live Mosley yeah well you live in Mosleyans no. um but yeah I've got to travel all the way to Rosden just to get to school which is an hour away it's in a car it's like half maybe five minutes half an hour if there's no traffic um but on a bus it's an hour away because i've got to get two buses just tiring especially when you've got exams um but yeah can't wait for the weekend get these fr last three of the, this week's exams done and then um i can have my weekend where i can sleep in late revise all day sleep in late Revise all day because <sighs> the sleep is needed. Let me tell you. On Monday, I'm so scared that um, I don't get up. Um, no, I'm tired because oh, get my double chin away. Um, because Monday, which was yesterday, um, I got up. Um. Mum forgot to bring my alarm up because obviously I don't sleep with my phone upstairs. But Mum forgot to bring my alarm up and I got up at around seven ish. So I'll have to get the f seven minutes past five, 48, pa 48 minutes past seven bus and it didn't turn up. So it 
the bus came at like eight something, which didn't get into Ash until like nine. Um, and then they didn't get to school till 10. And I don't even know what was happening with the traffic. I don't know how I got to school for 10 because I literally left the house for something past seven, which for um, my bus was at like 48 minutes past seven. So we should have been at school for at least something to nine or nine o'clock, not an hour later than nine. But yeah, I got to school anyway, and I my, I did have an exam on Monday, but it was PM, which was lucky because if it was AM, I would have missed it, like the whole exam. Um, but yeah, absolutely shattered. <sighs> All right, well, I'm gonna go to bed, as I've said a million times, and I'm gonna enjoy my sleep. Because I'm tired. And it's needed. Alright, have a nice sleep. Um, saying as it's like 7 o'clock while you're watching this. Have a nice sleep. Go bed early. Appreciate your sleep. Because I'm getting none. Because of how long I'm revising for. Just take it in. Sleep for how long you can. If you're in, if you're in year 10. As I've said, revise early because the stress. This is the stress. I don't like. I don't even want to look in the camera right now. Anyway, bye. Soon after. All right. So it's just a third from Imogen. It is uh, exam week. <sighs> Sats week. If you're in uni, it's exam week. It's just. It's crazy in it at the minute. And I think there's too much pressure that gets put on the kids, especially like the younger ones, which are in primary school, like Portia was, yesterday she did a English test, which she really, really enjoyed. And then today she did a reading test, which she was, I thought she was a bit like down when I picked her up from school. And you know, you can only reassure them so much, can't you, that all they could do is do the best. You don't pile pressure on them. They do the best and the best is always good enough. Especially for me and Sarah anyways. Well, as long as they put in <clears throat> as much effort as they can, that's all we can ask really. So, if anybody is watching who's going through their exams, we hope that you, you get through them without any distress and anxiety about them because they're over soon. And once it's over, it's the summer and you can go and enjoy yourself. So yeah, um, <laughs> I'm not the best person to take advice from, but it'll be fine, I assure you. So. Um, if you remember the other day when I fixed the mini printer that had the fan, this fan that was busted, I don't know if you can see it on there, maybe you can, yeah you can see it missing like a um, like a blade on it and it's not working, so when that happens it can't cool the plastic, so the plastic kind of starts to droop and everything else, it's not good at all so it can't print properly, and then I had this, this is the um, the extruder where the hot end comes out the ends of the plastic goes in the top this cools it and then it comes out the bottom where it's red hot well, I actually got the piece out tonight this was what was stuck inside it this so it's now off out so you use this little tool here heat it on the on the oven and you use this put it through purge it out and it was done so that saved me 30 pounds almost for a new uh, extruder and hot end so it's a, it's a bonus for me. I spent the evening doing the website. The website is almost finished. I'm just working on the store. We've got like um, an online uh, support chat on there. We've got the shipping sorted out to all different countries. We've got most of the products on there, but it's just a little tweaking here and there. Like some of the products that come out, I don't like the way that they look on there. So it's just a work in progress, but I need to try and get it on as quick as possible because there's people that want the website on because obviously it's um it's going to be slightly cheaper than ebay for me because there's no final listing fee there's only the price of the website that we pay but we've paid it yearly so it's worked out a little bit cheaper for us but uh the website building's coming on it's just me i'm a bit of a perfectionist so i have to make sure that everything's in the right place and stuff like that but fingers crossed with the new um studio i've actually emailed mark this evening so yeah we should be Good to go in about three or four weeks if they agree to our terms, which are they wanted ridiculous money for it next door. 
no one's been in it for 11 years so it's a false economy that they need to get somebody in there if not like i say i'll probably stay there till maybe next year maybe the end of this year but if it carries on the way it is so if you might have known that i've been a little bit stressed during the vlogs well that's why because i'm literally nothing worse than a squeaky door i'm literally cramped up in that studio literally it is um it's not good at all to be cooped up in there and not have any space which is basically what i'm doing in there i haven't got any space sorry i'm just looking for the nail clippers another pet hate of mine hate it when my nails um are long and dirty don't worry i never have them dirty it just like a you know I just, just don't like it, it's disgusting. So, hopefully I'll be able to find the nail clippers and clip them before I go to bed or I'll uh, probably sit up all night or go through me. I actually picked up the hot tub the other day. I don't know if you can see the white mark there on my finger. And my nail bent back and ooh, it's horrible. It's disgusting when your nail bends back. But anyway, yeah, back to the office. So that's why I've been a little bit down a little bit in the dumps because literally, you can't move in there, I have to come out of there, I have to wrap everything, um, box it all up. I can't really do repairs in there either because it just doesn't work at all. So hopefully if we go in there tomorrow, um, not tomorrow, hopefully if we get this sorted with Mark, we will be able to move in there and I'll be able to do repairs. I'll have a repair bay in there. I was even going to get a little couch in the corner so when the kids come, they can um, play in the PlayStation, get a PlayStation 4 in there because we've got a spare one in here. Get a TV on the wall for them so they can play Fortnite and that when they come to the office with me. At the minute it's a little bit boring for them. But we'll see. We'll see what happens. Hopefully, fingers crossed, like I keep saying, um, it'll work. But then again, it's me and uh, nothing normally goes to plan when it comes to me. There's always a hiccup or there's always a... Um, a bump in the road but anyway I'm rambling on again I am going to end today's vlog the hot tub just quickly um, we did everything back to front remember what I just said to you that we don't really do uh, normal it's always ridiculous or stupid and we should have filled it up first put the chlorine in but we didn't put the chlorine in today and the pH um, plus in there and the other stuff, the alkaline, we did the alkaline test and we're going to have to take all the water out tomorrow. I've just ordered a piece for this tap here. So it's a, like a universal one, so it straps on and then we can run it straight there through hot water. So we're going to do half hot, half cold and then hopefully it'll, it'll be able to warm up quicker. But you put the chlorine in first, then you put the filter on. I mean, the filter from yesterday, this is just one filter from yesterday. We were gobsmacked look at the state of that that is from yesterday so you know it's because we didn't put the chlorine the chlorine's not cleaning the water properly so now what i think we're going to do is we're going to put it in the dishwasher clean it and then we've got a spare one that's in now cleaning as well but tomorrow we're going to be emptying them so it's going to be a hot one again tomorrow do not forget to smash the like button subscribe if you're not already make sure you click notification bell. there's nothing make sure you leave us a comment and we will see you guys tomorrow because we do this every single day.